Hello everyone. Today we're going to be talking about resizing images on your web page. Now, I'd like to start off saying that it is extremely important to resize your images to the exact size that you need them for your web page. In CTEC 122, it is not permissible for you to use the tag attributes for the IMG element, okay? It's not permissible to use height and width to resize your image, okay? That's why you need to resize your images using tools like Microsoft Paint or the GIMP editor or Picasa. Now, let, let's, let me just give you some background on this. Now, imagine you have, like, let me go to my, my products page on my, my CTEC 122 project that I did. You see this drum set right here, right over here on the right? That original image from my Flickr collection is this big, okay? Now, imagine that we did allow you to use HTML attributes to resize your image. Can you figure out what's going to happen to the user on your web page who's going to be looking at that drum set, right? That's a big image right there. That's 640 pixels wide, okay? I believe it's about 90K, 90 kilobytes in size. Now, if we wanted to have them download that big image just to have them see it on their web page, just like this in the smaller image, that would be a waste uh, of bandwidth, right? Internet bandwidth for the user. It would be, a, you know, a time constraint on maybe a slow connection. Believe it or not, there's still a lot of people out there who don't have high-speed internet. Also, think about it on mobile devices, right? Where people get charged, right? They're they're restricted to the amount of bandwidth that they can use. So, a long story short, we need to resize our images, okay? So I am going to go to my desktop here. In fact, let me just minimize all these windows. And I have the original drum set image that I downloaded from my, my Flickr, okay? My Flickr is a online image library that I maintain. Now, as you can see, the size of this file here is 92 kilobytes, okay? It's 92 kilobytes. When I resized my image, it was 37 kilobytes. Now notice too here, and I didn't mean to do this on purpose, but the original file was a JPEG, right? And the one I resized using Microsoft Paint is a PNG file. I can now right click on this image and say edit. And what this is gonna do is bring my image up in Microsoft Paint. I can now simply resize my image using the resize tool right here. And now I can either resize it in percentages and pixels. I suggest you always work in pixels. Now, if I go here and I resize it to 150 pixels wide, it automatically, since it's, 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 it's maintaining the, the proportions here, I just hit OK. And now my image is resized to the exact size that I needed it. And if you remember, right, if we go back to Explorer here, right, we can see that when the image is saved, and I'm going to save it as a PNG, uh, it's one third, right, maybe a little more than, well, a third, but it's, it's significantly smaller in size. Hence, it's going to load quicker for our users, right? Okay. So let me just uh, do here a file save as and here's where you can you know resave it to these different formats png jpeg bmp gif uh, and other formats as well and in your textbook you'll learn about what their difference what the differences are between png jpeg bmp etc okay so that's the way you do it you'd save it as png and you'd specify the file name that you want to give it and i had it here as the 150 and you would hit save and I have the file there already, so it's asking me to overwrite it. That's it. That's how you resize images. And again, it's very important to do. Now, if we look at our HTML, actually, let me go back into Firefox here. Let me pull up the markup that's behind this particular drum set here. Actually, there's the snare drum. Here is the Rogers kit. Now, notice 
that I give it the width and height. Width of 150 pixels and height of 113 pixels. Notice that you do not include the PX for size, okay? Just note that, okay? And if you did put the PX in size there and you did try to run it through the validator that you learned about in previous lessons, you'd get an error, okay? There are also other free editors for Windows and Macintosh. And before I forget, for those of you who are using a Macintosh, okay, I'm in my Mac right now, and here's that same 640 pixel uh, image. If I double click on it in, 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 on the Mac, it's going to bring it up in uh, Preview, an app called Preview, which is built in to OS X. So if I go Tools, Adjust Size, I have virtually the same options that I had in Microsoft Paint. I can change the width here. I can make it 150 pixels wide. And you can see here that the, the uh, proportions are locked. So it automatically does the height for me. And if I click OK, there it is. There's the image resized. OK. Getting back to those free editors that I talked about, here's a list of free ones for Windows. I'll let you you know, take a look at those. And here's a list for the Macintosh. Again, you may recognize some for Mac and Windows that are the same. Some really great tools available for resizing images. And one more time, again, do not, do not resize images using the height and width attributes of the IMG tag in your markup. It's a no-no. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this short lesson about resizing images.